The horses have reached the starting gate. It's post time for the sixth running of the gazebo. Three-year-olds at six furlongs, $125,000 guaranteed. First up is 747 and Aristocratic. Here comes Rockshaw. Ballandine goes in. Three more now. Aristocratic Ramon Vasquez is off. Fractious in the gate. Meanwhile, Doc Kane comes forward. Two more now, Prado's Way and Laughing Saints Song. They're at the post. They're set. They're off. Aristocratic breaks well, so does Laughing Saints Song. These two are fast. Rockshaw splits those two, and Rockshaw's up into third. Then comes Ballandine in 747, who was astride slow. Prado's way, and the early trailer is Doc Kane as they sprint up the backstretch. In the sixth running of the gazebo, and Laughing Saints Song is the leader. From the outside to the rail, he leads it by a half length over Rockshaw in second. Ballandine and Aristocratic are together third and fourth. They're both two from from the front. 747 is fifth now, and he's five lengths off the lead. Then Doc Kane, and the trailer is Prado's way. They are around the far turn. Laughing Saint Song and Rockshaw, and these two at the quarter mile marker, and they are right together. Rockshaw is outside. Laughing Saint Song at the rail, and Rockshaw has strongly run to the front. He is now a length in front of Laughing Saint Song in second. To the outside, and Aristocratic, and between horses goes. Ballandine, but it is Rockshaw clear. Rockshaw is 16th out, and now he's pouring it on. He is four in front. Laughing Saint Song and Ballandine. Rockshaw wins. And he wins big in the gazebo, four and a half. Laughing Saint Song was second, Ballandine third, and Doc Kane finished fourth. Number four, Rockshaw first. Number eight, Laughing Saints Song second. Number five, Ballandine third. And number six, Doc Kane fourth.
Race 7 is official. The exact return $15.40. Trifecta $28.15. Superfecta $34.33. Pick 3, $184.70. Today's eighth race is the 29th running of the $125,000 guaranteed Spring Fever. Race eight will be run at five and one half furlongs. Number three, Marquee Miss. The jockey is Richard Aramia. Richard Aramia rides number three, Marquee Miss, and two pounds overweight. Number four, Natural Wonder is one pound over. Also, please take note of this corrected workout for number four, Natural Wonder. At Keeneland Race Course on February 25th, Natural Wonder worked five furlongs from the gate in one minute, one seconds flat breezing. Number five, Durango is scratched. Scratch number five, Durango. Number seven, her love for Pappy is scratched. Scratch number seven, her love for Pappy. Number eight, Super Sax is two pounds overweight. Post time for the 29th running of the Spring Fever in less than 27 minutes at 4.51. And now, returning to the winner's circle, the winner of the sixth running of the gazebo, Rockshaw and jockey Giovanni Franco. Rockshaw is owned by Alex and Joanne Leblong and trained by Ron Moquet. Running time, one minute, nine and one-fifth seconds. In the winner's circle to present the trophy for the sixth running of the gazebo is Mary Nan Knowlton.
here with the owner of Rockshaw, who takes the sixth running of the gazebo, trained by Ron Moquette, a very splendid ride by Giovanni Franco. You own this horse with your lovely wife, Joanne. Now, this was kind of a replica of his allowance win last out. Now, he really turned it on in the stretch. Alex stopping the clock in 109 and 1 for the six furlongs. Now, probably a little bit nervous as Giovanni was. This was a pickup mount as Ricardo Santana was injured, but Ricardo was actually in the infield. Did Ricardo have any words of wisdom for Giovanni Franco, even though he did a tremendous yeah, but uh, they were they were discussing it rather well so i think a big part of it goes to santana he told him what to do now did ron give any instructions to giovanni this afternoon i didn't understand him either but that uh, no he did well and the horse the main thing he got the trip and got to set outside and of the speed well, he did an absolutely wonderful job, a great job training up into this spot. Now, this obviously a prep for The Bachelor later in April at Six Furlongs. Hopefully, all will go well, and we'll get to see him get back-to-back -back stakes victory. That would be nice. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all the connections of Rockshaw. Very impressive getting his first stakes score.